The Separatist Alliance was a movement dedicated to the bringing down of the Republic. But did the CIS and the Clone Wars as a whole actually help the Republic survive? <laughs> Now, we need to first establish, in the years shortly before the Clone Wars, a lot of the galaxy wasn't happy with the Republic. It had become needlessly bureaucratic and out of touch with its people. Nothing was really getting done, at least not effectively. As well as this, taxes were an all-time high and corruption was incredibly common amongst its senators. In general, the Republic had outgrown itself. And this was the main reason so many worlds were willing to join the CIS in an attempt to leave. The real truth is that there wasn't many benefits for staying, at least for many of the poorer outer rim worlds. Now, if the CIS was never established under Dooku, this problem would have continued to worsen and more people and systems would begin to fall out of love with the Republic. And it would be forced to either make a drastic change to its policies, becoming a government that better served its people, or it would collapse. Either way, the Republic as it was in our timeline would cease to be. However, the Separatist Crisis and the subsequent war stopped this from happening. You see, it's a matter of fact that in times of war and political discourse, things can be very easily justified. For example, when the war began, the Republic began getting further and further into debt, a debt that would be paid back by the citizens of the Republic through tax. Now, this would never be popular, high taxes make people angry. However, since it was for the war, the senators and those who them represented were more complacent. The clones, the clone army the senate was making would work to keep them safe from the CIS threat, so no one really questioned it. And suddenly, everything becomes justifiable. High taxes, unfavourable trade deals, new regulations. Everything became okay because it could just be rationalised as part of the war effort. Now, of course, there were those who did speak out against this. But that leads us to the next point, and that's the sense of patriotism that the Clone Wars and the Separatist Crisis instilled. Due to Republic propaganda, the CIS was viewed as something to be feared, evil, and led by a terrifying rogue Jedi. And it's for this reason why those who had remained loyal to the Republic often became far more fierce in their beliefs. Those who questioned the actions of the Republic, their reckless spending, disregard for neutral systems, sovereign borders, etc., were often branded traitors and separatist sympathisers. This level of misplaced loyalty would exist far after the dissolving of the Republic, with many hating the separatists for years to come. Ultimately, the separatists and the war were possibly the rope that held the Republic together. As a whole, this coalition of systems and planets was slowly beginning to fail. However, under the looming threat of the Separatists, the citizens and governors of this organisation would pull together, and I believe that Sidious undeniably knew this. Even if we look back at our own history, the most prominent leaders are those who have led through times of conflict, and Sidious used this to gain fame, trust and power. He knew the people of the galaxy would be at their most loyal, most subservient and most docile when they were afraid afraid of the CIS that he created. The war stopped the fracturing of the Republic, something that would have greatly hindered Sidious's plans. By keeping it together, by protecting its name and instilling loyalty to both himself and the government, he would be able to simply swoop in and take over a massive portion of the galaxy as soon as the time was right. But what do you think? Did the Separatists and the fear they reaped save the Republic from destroying itself? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please remember to sub, like and share as it's always really appreciated and helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.